And we're back. Dark and Ran. Hello. Mass Effect 3. We're actually nearing the end now. Yay. Been a long time coming. <sighs> Tell me about it. Last, last time. What you were there? Shut up, smartass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, last thing we last thing we did was uh, just about the last thing we needed to do for uh, the Leviathan DLC. Yep. Rescued a scientist and actually succeeded this time. You know, it's nice when you actually fucking succeed. Right. Now we just need to make sure she doesn't get killed afterwards. Funny you should mention that. Yeah, kind of fucking figure. Oh no no no, she's she's fine. She's fine. Okay. <laughs> Look at we get there. She's already dead. Fuck. <coughs> or oh, you know she becomes mind control and we have to kill her. There's so many possibilities with how, how with how shit could go horribly wrong. I mean, we're only dealing with Space Cthulhu here. Yeah, exactly. Was it she th thought it was? A rogue reaper? So, yeah, Space Cthulhu. Space Mecha Cthulhu. I don't know. Hello? Anne, are you here? Please tell me you didn't open the barrier. Yeah. Oh, Commander. Yes, I'm sorry. Just... This is hard. Of course. Are you alright? Yes. No. Asking, are you all right to know. someone who's crying in front of you? My father and I didn't leave it's things in a uh, usually state. not very sensitive to me. Yes. Just saying. It was trivial. A disagreement on how to file some of the specimens. I was mad about something else. I don't remember what. And I took it out on him. It's so stupid. It's all right. I can come back. No, please. I'm okay. Seeing all this again. He was so obsessed. Crazy sometimes. I didn't get a chance to know him. Oh, sometimes I felt the same way. He was a great man. A pioneer. But he could be distant. I felt like an inconvenience growing up. You sound angry. I was angry. Still am, I guess. But sometimes he was so full of stories, he nearly burst. I love that about him. It's why I signed up for this work. <laughs> I can't believe he's gone. We'll figure this out. We have to. I need to know what's on the other end of that artifact. What he died for. We need your help. You're our last chance. You're right. Let me dig into my father's work to see what I can find. Oh, so for one, we're not the ones doing the dig. Sure you're up <laughs> with this? Yes. When Leviathan took control of me, I remember being somewhere cold and dark. Again? But my father taught me to never be afraid of the dark. Is that a message right behind you? Or something? No, it was just poking saying over here. Ah, it was on the Okay. I'm still amazed your father got his hands on a piece of a reaper. He was so excited. Your claims validated years of work. Did you take appropriate steps to prevent indoctrination? Of course. It was completely shielded, and we all had regular psyche valves. But now, thanks to the artifact, I'm indoctrinated anyway. Aren't I? Might as well be Arachni drone waiting for orders from the Queen. Huh, Arachni. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you heard about them, by the way? It's like, should we let her know about that? You studied the Arachni? 
I wrote my dissertation on that. My father thought it was a waste of time, but now it might actually help us understand Leviathan. In what way? We think of the Rachni as telepathic, but there's really no such thing. At short range, the Queen uses pheromones to give orders. At long range, she uses an organic kind of quantum entanglement communicator. Whatever Leviathan does, must be seen. Entangling particles to stimulate neural activity. It uses the artifact to establish a connection, and then it controls the mind of anyone near it. I don't know if I is. Hey, loco. Need a hand? Um. What brings you down here, James? Heard you're closing in on the Reaper Killer. Anything that can scare those bastards has to be worth a look. That's what I'm hoping. Hmm. This is how it's looking at him now. So it is. Commander, you see this thing? This is great! <laughs> <laughs> and he's also playing with it. Hey, Edie, husk bites, they don't turn you into a husk or anything, right? <laughs> I recommend you apply Metagel. <laughs> right. Yeah, let's be safe. Hey, if nobody claims this thing, we could take it with us. You know, for research or, I don't know, whatever. Yes, you can actually have that taken up to your cabin. <coughs> I would not. Have that thing staring at you in your sleep? Yeah, good point. We didn't detect any energy emissions from the artifact. But you could place some weather besides your cabin. <laughs> My theory is that most of the time the artifact simply acts as a receiver. You'll only be able to trace Leviathan through it when it actively takes control of someone. As it did on the asteroid. Right. Unless it needs something, Leviathan doesn't bother communicating. I guess it and my father had something in common. Oof. You said Leviathan's control was similar to a quantum entanglement communicator, which is untraceable. Yes. But this isn't a natural QEC. Leviathan has to send a pulse through the artifact to alter your mind and create the quasi-QEC effect. And that can be traced. Right. Just like at the dig site. The Reapers were tracing the signal by activating the artifact. My father wanted to be at that dig site. He was getting too old for long digs, but he hated being stuck in the lab. He nearly missed my graduation because he was on a dig. Showed up still wearing his field gear. God, he'd have hated dying here. Yeah. Yeah, this didn't get much of a chance to think about that, huh? Yeah. Anne, I know this is hard, but if there's anything more you can tell us. I don't think there's anything more I can tell you. But maybe I can show you. What are you saying? The artifact only sends out a signal when Leviathan's controlling someone. So let it control me. You could trace the signal. You mean let it take you over? That's too dangerous. It's my call, not yours. You said I'm your last chance to find this thing. We have no idea what will happen. If we wait, the Reapers will get to Leviathan first. I'm the only one here who's spent enough time with it to do this. You're looking for something to fight the Reapers, Commander. I'm looking for the monster that murdered my father. We still don't know what we're looking for. Then let's find out. Okay. Commander, this thing we're doing with Anne sounds dangerous as hell. <coughs> no, Edie. Energy signature locked in. Waiting for activation. You sure about this? Yes. I'm sure. I'm gonna be right here. Okay. Actually, shouldn't we? I'm ready. Move the guy away. He might James, also get mind control. Drop the containment shield. No, so it takes it takes drop. too long. Artifact oh, online. Right. Anything? Nothing yet. There's something. I feel a chill. Edie? No trace yet. Oh, yeah. 
hell? Signal is tracking. Maintain connection. Turn back. The darkness can't be breached. Yo! Maintain connection. Listen to me. I found you. And the Reapers are right behind me. You have brought them. You are a threat. So are you. I've seen what you can do. The war needs you. There is no war. There is only the harvest. Edie, do we have enough? Partial lock. Maintain connection to narrow the search. You heard her. We got enough. I'm hitting the shield. Do it. I didn't think you were too big on pushing her any further. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Anne. Anne, are you alright? Yes. I think so. Did we get anything? Yes. But it will take some time to search. Coordinates sent to the Normandy. Good. It's a start. Commander. I sense something else. Anger. We know it knows we're getting close. I think it wants to kill you. Come on. It can try. Let's some help. I mean, we have killed a couple. We've already killed uh, a couple reapers. With help, mind you, but. Yeah, I mean, you know. One on one will eventually happen, right? Yeah. Where'd I leave my cane? I know, right? <laughs> Allow me to introduce you to Nuke. Pathetic human. What could you possibly bring to bear against us? Strategic launch detected. Strategic launch detected. Oh no. <laughs> I'm trying to remember, I'm pretty sure there was a game with a sniper that shot like mini black holes or some bullshit like that. That I couldn't tell you. Like I'm pretty sure there was something like that in a, a game somewhere, but I don't remember which. <sighs> Probably. Sounds amazing as hell, though. <coughs> All right. Let's find us a Leviathan. Will this see this Leviathan? Hush. Commander, not everything in this system was destroyed. We may recover something. I found something. We found fuel. Oh boy, phew! One hundred percent. Yeah, it figures. <coughs> so we have no idea where Leviathan is. It could be in any system. Signal confirmed. I'm gonna be real. Mm -hmm. I don't remember where Leviathan actually is. But I do remember where it is. <laughs> and since I knew which planet it was, I just didn't know it was going to be in this system. So I accidentally took a straight there. Okay, then. Why can't my luck... Why can't I have good luck, you know, when I need to? Because that would be too nice. Seriously. Okay, James, you're coming with us. We need a tank for this one. Oh man. Or someone who can take some fire. And adorable as Tally is, she is not durable. Mm-hmm. She's not adorable. Shush. <laughs> I think you know what kind of mood I'm in tonight. Yeah, I can tell. Uh, he doesn't really need to upgrade that shotgun. Nothing needs to upgrade that shotgun. We uh, I mean, we haven't used him in a while. Even yeah, he does. <coughs> I mean, he could always be stronger. It could, but we're not worried about it. <coughs> All right then. So. 
What do you think's waiting for us down on this water world? Cortez, what's the status on the probe we launched? Tracking it now, Commander. I've confirmed that Leviathan's signal originates from this planet. Heard how, uh, Anne helped us locate it. Pretty spooky stuff. Never seen anything like it. Can't imagine what's waiting for us down there. A Reaper killer. That's what Bryson's task force was calling it. Doesn't look like it wants to be found. It doesn't have a choice. We're here. Sure, but now what? Let's suppose it is a Reaper. Is that the kind of help we want? Nobody says we have to be friends with it. But if this thing has the rest of the Reapers worried, then we need its help. Commander, new readings from the probe. It's narrowed down Leviathan's locations. You're not gonna like it. Let's hear it. There's nothing but ocean. I show a concentration of structures floating on the surface, but the probe's giving us a signal below that. Way below. Underwater? Looks that way. The shuttle should still be able to reach it. That's possible. Kodiak is spec to nearly a thousand atmospheres, but I've never actually tested that. Guess we're gonna find out. Damn Some kind of pulse hit us! Systems are shutting down! Brace for impact! I was almost hoping to actually go under weather. <coughs> almost. Well, I can come right. My suit's intact. Maybe a few bruises under it. Out the shuttle, Cortez. Checking now. I'll see if I can. I'm get to another zone. Copy that. I think we found the weather they have the ships, makeshift shelters. One of the first ones down by that pulse. Could be Leviathan's last line of defense. Makes sense. I'm not recognizing any of those ships. They're ancient. Mm -hmm. Hello there. Oh man. Hello there. Any idea how old these are? To keep bones that clean. Real old. Or as Javik would say if you were here, old enough not to stink. I guess. I am only late. Datapad log, Atten Brooks. The hole will hold, that's what they say. Whatever god watches over Ezo prospectors came through for us. Despite a hell of a smack in the, wa in the water landing, the MSV Monarch displaces enough air to stay afloat. We're all thankful we're alive. Captain Pratt even ordered a champagne broken out. That was perspective, I guess. The big puzzle? What downed us in the first place? Kuhn Shan says it wasn't lightning. There was some kind of pulse. Directed energy weapon? Seems likely. But where would it have come from? There's no radio traffic. The whole bloody ocean is silent. Tonight the techs are going to try rerouting the power to get a good mass drop before getting the thrusters firing. If all goes well, we'll be airborne in 24 hours. Don't think that I works. don't think all the ones work. Commander. You're Looks stopping like him. Artifacts. We can repair. Uh, no one gets out of here. The thing faster. Shen Kunshan. Attempts to get airborne have failed every time. Damage done by the pulses, if you can call it damage, doesn't make physical sense. The connections aren't fried, but the monarch's thrusters disengage. The stress beacon is likewise dead, but most of our electronics are still functioning. It doesn't seem to be a result of shielding. Without a distress beacon, we've got no chance. I hear bad things about ration supplies. I think that's why the captain ordered us to collect rainwater and set up tents on the deck. It keeps us busy. Brooks has been talking about using the Triton's weapons to try blast fishing. I agree, but I haven't seen anything that looks like a fish. I wish I, wish I were an optimist. <clears throat> it doesn't help that apparently somebody brought some of the balls on board. Yeah, can you shoot it? I can, but just keep looking around. Okay. Triton ADS. Looks like a damaged Atlas. Different though, and it's not flying Cerberus colors. Nice looking machine. Bet it's a wreck. Yeah. See, weather like this is when you're really glad you have a, a completely sealed environment suit. Oh my 
It's a headshot bonus. Look up there. Yeah. Razor, they were right behind us. Protect the shuttle. I wasn't done exploring. Oh. What can we keep exploring? Unknown. Not under fire. Details, details. Now can you just think you can shoot those things? Is now really the time? Hello. It's sharing the cover with you. Okay, that was weird. Had a development. You want to elaborate there, Super? That is so amusing. Okay, in a corner is not where I want to be with one of them. Multiple of them fuckers. As I found out, I don't, I don't need to use the shotgun to kill them while charging, I just gotta kill them while charging. Also, they apparently take more damage from one of your powers than with an entire group of them. Uh, game just crashed. And technical error, we come back. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea what happened. But um, I picked up, apparently, the game crashed slash saved right as Cortez fixed the shuttle, so. Yeah, that was quite some timing. Hey, it means I don't have to go completely through these fights again. Yeah. That count? I might already have these units. I don't know. Maybe. <sighs> well, we had air support. I appreciate that. Commander, I've got hmm. enemy contact. Under fire. Fuck. Bing. Yoink. Just to make sure. Yeah, you know. Okay, we're clear. Oh, we're still nice work, Commander. But there's a development. We need to talk. Okay, a moment of silence. Time to go exploring. <laughs> we need to talk. Okay, just give me a um, couple minutes. Give me a hot minute. Yeah, of course, on. it's still yeah. raining, you know, reapers all over the place. Dr. Chai Lin. The rations will hold us two days more. <coughs> Brooks sent a drone to the bottom and came up with bioluminescent plant life. None of it edible. I warned the crew not to eat it, eat it before my tests were done, but Romero and Mullins tried it anyway. They haven't stopped vomiting, and their dehydration wastes fresh water. We sent Kunshan's team on a raft over to the wrecks. They came back with spheres, some kind of organic-based alien technology, and nothing to eat. I want to believe they'll give us some answers, but if they hadn't helped the other ships figure out what happened, they wouldn't be here now, would they? It's getting cold. Yeah. Get 
anything cold, huh? I don't think it was the rain that was making them cold. Not that I think about it. If the Leviathan is also somewhere very cold and very dark, like, you know, the bottom of an ocean, it would kind of make sense if the connection caused that. Captain Abel Pratt. <coughs> Ramos is our first death. He tried to throw one of the spheres overboard and something happened. Kun Shan and maybe three or four others started beating them him like madmen. I wish I was quick enough to save him. They showed no remorse, not even comprehension. It's clear I am no longer in, in control. I held a funeral to keep order. The crew would have been at his body like wild dogs. We compromised. He'll be tethered into water to attract scavenging animals. That way we, that we will catch for food. If he doesn't get a bite within three of this planet's days, we cut him loose as a water burial. We've seal sealed the Tritons off. They're dangerous, especially given the crew's mental state. My kingdom for a shark. Hmm. Okay. Any more? Good question. This place is kind of... Difficult to come over because it's hard to tell where the or not. Yeah. Well, you're not meant to roam around it. It's the exterior of a ship. Yeah. I think there's at least one more data pad lying around. Well, I guess those are the Tritons. Yep, they are indeed sealed. We just have to figure out a way to get to them. Yeah. Ooh, loot! <laughs> get off of that. <laughs> so, something I will literally never use. So it must be back here still somewhere. Just where back here? I already, already checked here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, loot. Get off of them. There we go. Data pad log. Incarna Camcho. The captain gets it now. He tried to lock himself in the ship, screaming that he had to fix it. We were gentle, one person for each limb. We let him rest on the sphere. Sometime in the middle of the night, he came around, and now he agrees. We won't leave. Why would we? I think this will be my last entry. Everyone here understands me. If anyone finds this, they might feel differently, but that can be fixed in time. It's so good not being hungry anymore. And well, we know what happened to the people on, of the ship. Yep. I think what it was is, um, because I remember walking past that one first and, you know, it didn't let me interact with it. So I think it's one of those ones where you have to interact with them in order. Probably. I have no proof, but that's my hunch. Okay, Cortez. What's up? Power to get that cargo door open. How? I guess we are. 
These old Ballard class ships are equipped with exterior power sockets. They use them for emergency repairs. We can strip the cells from the shuttle and use those for juice. Hang on, I'll get you started. Got a cell for you, Commander. Find somewhere to plug that in. Hmm. I'm just wondering, is there any reason why you haven't even tried to shoot the Sears? No point. They don't do anything. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, this is the rush, move fast segment. Because uh, that power level keeps to them up to be safe. Because the power level keeps draining. Do I see? This might come in handy. Perhaps. Perfect timing. Anything big and nasty, there is. There we go. Good thing the cannon's actually pretty useful against them. Now if I could just revive Tally from in here. That would be nice. The shovels are so pretty nice. To assist with Jenny. Whoa. Uh, hey, Commander, are you really serious about this plan? We've come too far to stop now. The way home is through Leviathan. Okay, so like check out. Oxygen pressure is nominal. Systems are a go. It's as ready as I can make it. Let's go. Shepard, just. I'll be fine. Come on. You've survived wars, right? I mean, we got spaced. Come on. Engaging systems. Ready. Testing comm link. I read you. No. Spaced Go. and crash landed from that like a meteorite. Granted, we spent two years on an operating table. Yes, but we survived. I mean, technically, we didn't. You know, we still have the cyber parts. <laughs> so we will probably take less time to recover next time. Looks good so far. Copy that. Cortez? Cortez! What? Just us in the dark. Huh? You could say.
cold and dark. Not sure if you can read me up there. Looks like I finished the major descent. Can't see much from hey, here. Almost the suit 60. is holding up. Emergency systems have come online. Life support operation. Three kilometers deep. Pressure, 4,000 PSI. And that is a big fucking jellyfish. Mm -hmm. I think the way I have a question. Yeah? If the Leviathan disables pretty much every machine so they can't be or reach them, why didn't he disable the Titans? I think it's more they can just down um, any ships that enter, enter the planet's atmosphere. Getting some strange readings from the And road. you know, communications. Something is definitely down there. Yeah. So I guess it's a very specific kind of pulse. Pretty much. Reading the probe directly below me. Looks like the final drop. It was like they weren't it's able to do uh, Leviathan wasn't able to do anything about the probe. So clearly it has a limit. Fair enough. Well, you know, at least the pulse could. That's a pretty neat deep drop though. Go into the light, right? Can't see anything just yet. So now we're playing some Nautica, right? Moving. Very interesting looking probe. There we go. Staring at the ground. Mm -hmm. Also, I don't think going down underwater will make you fall so hard you will need to brace. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Shepard, I am pretty sure that what that is, is called this Leviathan. <coughs> if it's a repair, it looks rather different, kinda. Is it just an armor? Galaxy. 
justice were in our thrall serving our needs. We grew more powerful when they were cared for, but we could not protect them from themselves. Over time, the species built machines that then destroyed them. Tribute does not fall from a dead race. To solve this problem, we created an intelligence with a mandate to preserve life at any cost. As the intelligence evolved, it studied the development of civilizations. Its understanding grew until it found a solution. In that instant, it betrayed us. It chose our kind as the first harvest. From our essence, the first Reaper was created. You, all it, are injured. Interesting. Interesting. Indeed. Also, so all, all of our Thrall races keep getting wiped out by AI. So let's make an AI to find a solution. Yeah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> Truly the apex race. Completely. You built that machine despite what you saw the other races experience. Why? You cannot conceive of a galaxy that bends to your will. Every creature, every nation, every planet we discovered became our tools. We were above the concerns of lesser species. The intelligence was envisioned as simply another tool. And now we all pay the price for your mistake. There was no mistake. It still serves its purpose. So in other words, we couldn't possibly conceive that something would actually backfire on us. <laughs> How did you remain hidden all this time? Our extermination was not complete. Some survived and found refuge in the dark corners of the galaxy. I am their progeny. Over the cycles, the thrall races were controlled, removing traces of our existence as we directed them to. In this way, our survival was kept secret from the Reapers. Today, we reach out through the fragments and watch for discovery. Fragments? You mean the artifacts we found? They provide a window into the galaxy. Tools for exploring the events of this cycle for the safety of this world. Through them, we watch, we study, and remain. In the shadows. How did the intelligence defeat you? To find a solution, it required information. Physical data drawn from organic life in the cosmos. It created an army of bones that searched the galaxy, gathering this data. There was no warning. No reason given when they turned against us. Only slaughter. Only the harvest. Tell me about the Reapers. Each harvest ends with the birth of a Reaper, perfect in its design, each formed in Harbinger's image. Our image. Each Reaper has the power to influence organics. Over countless cycles, this ability was refined, perfected, and gave rise to indoctrination. But what's the point of all these harvests? The intelligence is one on purpose. Preservation of life. That purpose is not being fulfilled. It directed the Reapers to create the mass relays to speed the time between cycles for greatest efficiency. The galaxy itself became an experiment. Evolution its tool. Will it ever end? Unknown. Until the intelligence finds what it's looking for. The harvest will continue. What do you know about the Crucible? We have watched its construction before. It has never been completed. Those who have tried still fell victim to the harvest. Its outcome is unknown. Okay, you made your point. Will you help stop the cycle? I have searched your mind. You are an anomaly. That is not enough. Wait! The cycle will continue. No! You've been watching! You know 
know this cycle is different. You will survive. There will be a man here as a servant of our means. The Reapers will harvest the rest. If you release me, no one has to be harvested. Nothing will change. Yeah, about that. The Reapers <clears throat> know where you are. You can't just watch anymore. You have to fight. Even if you survive the battle today, the Reapers won't stop. Ever. Release me and we have a chance to end this once and for all. That's how you get hey. Space Cthulhu on your side. Yeah. Like, they might not go out there to help us out, but hey, it's something. Yeah. Feeling too good. Yeah, conversation like that has sound for this. Remember all those we left flying around? Oh yeah. <laughs> I guess there was a reason for not shooting. Yeah. I mean, it's fine even if you destroyed him, just. Could, could you two take that somewhere else? Also, I love how Tally's assault rifle, and her pistol is suddenly an assault rifle. Sit the fuck down! And pass another Reaper down. <laughs> yep. So now we, quote unquote, have killed the other another Reaper. <laughs> totally counts as ours, right? He's free. Yeah. I mean, we convinced him. Just like us. Sounds 
like an amazing story. One for the history books. Well, I look forward to hearing all about it. My father would appreciate this, knowing the truth is out there. In the meantime, Admiral Hackett has asked me to join his scientific team. We all have our part to play. I should get to it. Take care, yeah. man. And thanks for all your help. Shepard out. Yeah, if you're not like wearing a helmet or you can see his face. The Alliance wanted more intelligence on the Reapers. I'd say we got it. Our people will be studying it for years to come. They're already calling it the Leviathan Codex. It rewrites galactic history as we know it. Whatever else it means, it tells me the Reapers had a beginning. And maybe now we'll provide them with an end. That's one way to look at it. I guess it's the only way. So go out there and make it happen. This is a big step in the right direction, Shepard. Good work. Thank you, sir. Hack it out. Yes, yeah, like, I think if you have, like, a clear faceplate helmet or just not wearing a helmet while, uh, while you're in the mech doing that, uh, dealing with the Leviathan, uh, during the m moments where Shepard is going in and out of consciousness, uh, you actually see him start start having start bleeding from the nose from basically like the the psychic pressure bursting a blood vessel. Because <coughs> like he because like he's he's resisting it that hard. Mm -hmm. Will of iron though. Yeah, I mean the beginning with the Reaper artifact probably helped. Reaper artifact. Yeah. The right, I guess it was the protein artifact. Yeah. Also, oh, look how much the, look how much it. that's worth. Uh, uh, yeah, that's uh, it's what like three of them, but <laughs> a mixed species team of special operations soldiers have volunteered to covertly deliver Leviathan artifacts behind enemy lines. These attacks aim ah. to make Reaper creatures thralls of the Leviathans. On a small scale, this could cause chaos and disruption. On a large scale, and if given enough time. They can form an army of Reaper creatures dedicated to exterminating their own kind. The team's major limiting factors are the small number of artifacts and the reluctance of Alliance commanders to operate openly with such a potent weapon for fear the Reapers might develop a countermeasure. Yeah, that's fair. But like, it Still, is the most valuable thing on this list. It is almost half of the entire list. <laughs> um, no, no, not, not by a long shot. I mean, 50. it's 100 out of 400. Oh. I didn't even notice that. Listen, we know I'm mildly retarded. <laughs> Shut up! Oh, he's gotta give me shit for shit. I mean, that is kinda how we operate. <sighs> oh, boy! On, Mail! Yay! Hierarchy Command, the Heshtok situation. From Agent Victus. Your speed in dealing with the situation must be commended. The Vorchar are a species that none of us would mourn too deeply. But irrespective of that, you rescued an operation that could provide them with a better future. I didn't agree with the nature of the experiment, but it's beyond doubt it is proving that the Vorchar can be more than they are. The Asari trials on Par Parasac proved that they can be docile and trained. And our experiments proved that they can be trusted with roles in war other than that that is, that is cannon fodder. The second squadron of Void Devils are flying sorties over Hatash and they are proving successful. If we survive this war, we will be forced to look at the Vorcha differently. Not a prospect that many will relish. Hmm. Still, if they can learn, then yeah. <clears throat> we've heard non-stop news about massacres on our home worlds. But let's not forget that we've survived heavy losses before. <coughs> Rachni consumed Salarian colonies. Quarians lived through the unthinkable slaughter of the Morning War. Periods of ethnic cleansing have darkened corners of human history. But we're a galaxy of survivors. Despite threats both organic and synthetic we've endured, some wonder if submitting to the Reapers will save them. To you I ask, what were the Reapers doing during all those years in dark space? They were hiding, waiting until the right moment. And anything that hides knows what fear is. They fear us, because if we get the upper hand, there won't be any more Reapers. Not wrong. 
we are getting the upper hand. It's like... With all the massacres going on, it's easy to forget, but... Reapers have trouble making more of themselves. Yeah, like so anytime. every single one kill is worth a lot. Yeah. Granted, it took two combined fleets and a bit of luck to take down one sovereign class. Yeah, but in this one cycle, we have killed how many of them? Let's see. One cap. Uh. One capital class, Sovereign. Yeah. Uh, two l smaller classes on Tachunka and Rannoch. Uh, yeah. And then, the one? and then technically that fourth one, which is also a Sovereign class. Like, yeah, you know, the one right here. Yeah, so... <laughs> We've taken out a couple of them, but of course, you know, there's hundreds of thousands of them. That's like, how they can operate on so many theaters of war at a time. Like, didn't they say that they make one big reaper per cycle? Uh, according to information, yes, one sovereign class is made per cycle. Though other races are harvested that are used as the base for the lesser cl classifications. Yeah, but, you know... Even if they did win, we have already done more damage to them than it was than they gained. Mm, yeah. Anyway, let's see what do we got. We technically also killed the reaper that they were trying to make in Mass Effect. Though. Yeah, that one is a bit different, though. Yeah. Let's see... Do, do, do. Still don't know where that is. Don't remember where that is. No idea where that is. Shrike Abyssal. And the far ramp. Maybe that's one we could just go around this scanning shit. Bran, I don't want this to be... The series to be 50 episodes, 20 of which are just scanning. Uh, fair enough. Nobody has time to sit through that. And again, I, you did do that thing where the rippers no longer start chasing you. You scan too much, so technically it wouldn't be that long. But... I found something. Oh, Haystrom. This is where we recruited Tally last game. Oh, yeah. There was supposed to be a plot thread related to its sun expanding, but uh, they, they kind of left that one. Yeah. Dark energy experiments. Speaking of which. And it looks like the modders decided, well, we're gonna do something with it. Fuel? Never mind. <laughs> A vast field of wreckage floats near Kaurum. Metallic debris glinting in the red light of Dolan. Radio scans. Ah, oh, we've already seen this. This is the um, fleet that uh, the Corians basically flashbanged. And then wiped out. Hmm. Hey, if it works. Yeah, before they decided to kick off a war for their home world. Hmm. You know, in the middle of all of this. Like, hey, isn't the galaxy, you know, in the shitter right now? Yeah. Let's make it worse. And then we came by. And made it better. It better. <laughs> yeah, made it better. Whether they want that or not. Strike abyssals over here, yeah. Uh, Ooh. No. Oh. Not right now. Fine. That's a big one. Yeah, that's a uh, big that's a big stuff. Kinda of hurts my eyes. Signal confirmed. Oh boy, something. 
You said more fuel. Vorcha labor oh. team. Hmm. That's probably fuel, though. Probably. <gasps> it's fuel. Yep. Well, that's everything here. Yeah, I think we have one more system. Yep. Erla Rost. Mm -hmm. I want to for it again. Some sort of Prothean artifact. I said enough. I found something. I found fuel. <coughs> There it is, Protean Obelisk. Yay. We can drop that off at the Citadel. Which is basically the next place we need to go anyway to start the next story segment. Yep. Yay, one more cluster complete. You know, until something adds another thing to find in it. Yeah, but then at least we will know about it. Because this will be the only place that's Yeah, but we'd have to actually notice it's there. To dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Get us a cab to the Presidium. It'll be there momentarily. I like whichever. <laughs> I like whichever modder made it so that um the uh, air traffic controller gets randomized every time you come in. Mm. It's a nice little touch. Yeah. Are you the one I'm looking for? No. Okay, the person I'm looking for isn't here. Where are they then? They're in the embassies, which is where we needed to go anyway. Fucking great. Multitasking. <sighs> you know, I should probably look at my journal before I go somewhere. That way I know where I'm going. Alright. We're short and round. It's a Volus I'm looking for. <laughs> Are you it? No. You it? No. Are you it? No. Are you it? Yes. I think I've recovered the obelisk you mentioned from the Shrike Abyssal. It's waiting in Bay D24. Really? Thank you, Earth Clan. Were your people involved in a secret construction project of some sort? I am certain this obelisk would help. But yes, in theory. Also, don't you love how we always get assigned the exact same bay every time? Yeah. It's like, this is my spot. Alright. Let's see what the Asari Counselor wants out of us. File secured and marked for Tenchon clearance only. Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. Did you find something? The Council has ordered a full review into Donald Udina's activities. We're still piecing together this coup attempt. But that isn't why I asked you here. The situation is growing urgent for my people. We are aware your crucible is still missing a key component. The catalyst? Do you know something? Not exactly, but there is a artifact on our homeworld, Thessia, known only to highest levels of my government. What is it? With any luck, it's a means to help you locate the catalyst. The artifact is kept in a temple located at these coordinates. I've ordered a scientific team to meet you there. If this artifact is so important, why keep it hidden? Every species in the Citadel has its secrets, Commander. 
But this one, in the wrong hands, would upset the balance of galactic power. The Reapers are doing that right now. Which is why I'm bringing this to you. I appreciate the help. It's you who will be helping us. The Matriarchs are growing desperate. For the first time in our history, Thessia is vulnerable. For all our intellect, we're outmatched by Reaper firepower. I'll do what I can. Whether you know it or not, you've become the sole ray of hope in a very dark night. Goddess be with you. Uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, in case they don't, they forget to mention somewhere, uh, it's illegal to hoard Prothean artifacts. You know who made that law? Asadi. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. It's almost like the, it's almost like they're uh, they're playing power trip on us. Well, I guess we're going to the Asari homeworld. Now we can see what Liara's uh, planet looks like. Yep. There's time too. Mm-hmm. <coughs> 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 uh, dying. <coughs> I know it's nice and immersive and all, but can we not appear at the airlock every time we go into the Normandy. <laughs> you know that I think about it, now that they this Mass Effect 4 or whatever, I'm curious about one thing. Hmm. How many of these other species might actually have embassies in the city of now? Well... Just like, there's the Krogan now that might actually develop decently. If we do it our way, even the Vorcha might. I highly doubt the Vorcha would get an embassy. <laughs> yeah, probably not, but still, I'm just but, saying, like, there's a lot more species. See, the thing is, you know. a lot of species don't. The Volus and the Hanar, as far as I know, don't have embassies. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, if it's apparently so far into the future, it's also possible that more species get an embassy. Well, uh, so I'm maybe... curious about which ones they would be. Oh, ma no wait, they ha they've got to have an embassy. I'm just being fucking retarded, as usual. Yeah, they have... I'm pretty sure they have an embassy, they just don't have a seat in the concept. Which is what everybody wants. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Everyone except Anderson, because he hates paperwork. Well then, let's take a look at Thessia. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, like, I'm not saying the council would have more people, but I'm saying more species would have embassies, at least. There's activity across most of the planet. What about the temple? Can you raise the scientists? Negative. All channels are scrambled across the spectrum. The mission's looking really dicey. This is too important. It's now or never. Shepard. That's my home down there. I have to go. Then get to the shuttle and let's do this. Well, I guess I know who we're bringing. Yes, Liara and Javik. I almost said Liara and Tali, but yeah, bringing Javik to the study home for this just sounds to just hard to uh, sing, not to pass up. And to recover a Prothean artifact? Oh, you know, he's going to have something to say. It's like, not that you mention it. Yes, Liara and Javik. <laughs> I would have been kind of amused if, if Liara said, after Liara saying that, we could have just deselected her. That would have been mean. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to waste any more points on sabotage. Yeah, now that we know it just doesn't work on Reapers. Mm. AoE or Duration? Hmm. I don't really use this power that much, so it doesn't really matter. AoE, AO I think. No, I don't. 
Haven't used Javik in a while. Yeah. Doing all that uh, DLC. Yeah, because, you know, we had Tally finally. We had to bring Tally for everything, because of course we did. <laughs> These coordinates the Counselor gave you are for the Temple of Athame. My mother took me there once. It's several thousand years old. And for some reason, it has classified government funding. Sounds like we're on the right trail. What if we're too late? My people are dying down there. Your empathy is a weakness. You must numb yourself to us. Venezia took you to this temple? I was just a child. I thought it was a history lesson, but now... Maybe there was more to it. What do you mean? I went digging through her old files. She had heavily encrypted records on this place, some dating back centuries. I still can't crack most of them. Whatever's going on, <coughs> it's well hidden. I've studied your old mission reports. Your mother was indoctrinated. Yes. We had to kill her. Yet it did not stop you from fighting. As I said, steal yourself. Many more lives will be lost. We can't ignore that people are dying. The Reapers may not have mercy, but we do. It is their indifference that gives them power. And let's show them there's another way. You can always trust Javik to be a jackass. Hey, buckle up. This one's gonna be tight. Yeah. For me. It was his way of life, his entire life. Yeah. Literally born into it, so it's not gonna change his mind that quickly. Yeah, I get the feeling this place is supposed to be a lot prettier. Yeah, me too. This can't be happening. My home. There's no time to mourn. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be kind of like Kingdom, but without without a lot of the scum and villainy. You must be Commander Shepard. Lieutenant, Outpost Tykes is running out of ammunition. We all are. Tell them to make every shot count. Right here. Oh, Supplies and everything. Shepard drops down, starts mm. everything. Pretty much. Gunship blocking my way. Commander, we heard. Well, not keeping that barrier up. Oh boy, machine gun! What am I shooting at? I shot it. Hey, can I get one of these for my personal use? Look at the way he just melts a brute. Yes, brutes. Play very much like an ex chameleon. The spot where your whatever your dead friends are, that's clearly the safe spot. Oh well, yeah. Duh. You know, y'all have shotguns and uh guns. Use them. The butter center one. <laughs> then step up. Commander, I'm Lieutenant Curran. We've been told to expect you. 
My orders are to hold this grid at all costs. Yeah, that's bad. Shore up the barrier! But our perimeter's collapsing, and I'm getting my people out of here. This is important. We need your help. Well, unless you can give me a good reason to stay, we're not dying for a field of rubble. What exactly were you told about me? Nothing but your name. Mission details were classified, which just means we'll die without knowing why. I know what that's like, but you have to trust the chain of command. We're not even sure the chain still exists. So what are we doing here? We're after a relic inside the temple. It's important. That's what this is all about? One of our outposts has been trying to reach the scientists over there, but we lost contact. Get that gunship moving! Now! I'm sorry, Commander. If your relic has lasted this long, it can wait a little longer. I've lost enough people today. I'm pulling the rest of them out. No! I sense you the lineage of a leader. A warrior skilled and cunning. They are strong in your genes. But you've grown tired of me. You're exhausted by defeat, and now you worry you don't have the courage left to go on. By the goddess, are you... Find your resolve. This war can end if you do. We're building a Prothean superweapon. It'll win this war. I can not believe it. This is Lieutenant Curin. Hold your positions. I want a path carved to the temple. Outpost Tychus, we've got people coming your way. Let's make sure the galaxy knows the war was won on Thessia! Make it count. I was here I didn't know. to see the city burning like this is... It can be rebuilt. Just worry about the next 20 meters. Yeah. Watch it! Well, at least air support helps us right now and then. Yeah. <laughs> so far away. Is it good to say it has very good range? Yeah, but it's not as. It's just not effective at all at that range. Come here. You fucking mine. What the name of you, Dustin? Get out of cover, will ya? <laughs> I like Javik just pull. Javik the kill stealer. <laughs> I'm not gonna complain. That was a pretty good shot. Yeah, fair enough. On that building. Yeah, about that. No. Yes. Keep your focus, Leon. Yes, that's why you must keep your power. Yeah, as it turned out, the Asari, whose entire war doctrine mostly focused on commando forces, don't fare so well in open combat. Yeah. Watch the edges! Don't let them get around us! Pretty much all they can do is beat them up with biotics. Which, you know, it's still powerful, but... What is that? A new one, apparently. Yeah, you can tell by the fact that I don't know what it is. I... I guess it's modern? I guess. I've never seen one before. And I don't like it. I think it has a shield or something. Yes, it does. A big-ass shield. A shield with a flamethrower. Ah! Motherfuckers. What even, what even is it made out of? I, I can't even tell what it's supposed to have come from. Hmm. Codex. <laughs> In me. <laughs> oh, I, I gotta know. The Reaper called Harbinger is believed to be the oldest... Okay, it must be in the secondary codex. Tyrant. Reverse fusion of corrupted Elcor and flesh and mechanical articulation. Okay, then. Hmm. 
In the battlefield, they were screened their allies from incoming fire before tearing apart makeshift fortifications using their prodigious strength. Each tyrant carries an enormous shield made of an unknown composite material and incendiary weapons. These hulking tanks are rarely encountered outside of intercouncil space, but analysts predict that the fall of the Kuna will make them all too common. Sounds about right. Yeah. I could have gone without seeing one of those. Really? Like, there's what if I for what they could walk on two feet, basically? Yeah. I don't like it. They can have it back. I think you're getting shot. I noticed. Yoink. 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 Really? Yes, baby. No cover for you. Let me see, Gavik is, Gavik is firing his laser. Something, something firing my laser. Yeah, sure. Banshee! Indeed. Yes, I guess you could call them that from. <coughs> Where is it? Put him down. Now that I think about this, if this is a tank and that, that frost thingy might actually be useful for vanishers. You know, I didn't even think about that. Alright. Let's get the sense might be going for the freeze duration would have been the better option. Oh one. Well. Uh, yeah, oh well. Even JV realizes there's no good answer there. Yeah. Hello. My people share the devils. They change their minds when the Reapers are around. Imagine just the psychological effect of having that walking above you. Yeah. Javik, I hate to break it to you, but we need a tad more firepower to fight that. Yeah, clearly we need a game. More like a thresher mall. Oh, there goes the sorry sniper. This is Beckler's Kalo. Beckler's neighbor was just killed by enemy fire. Well, at least one of them. No signs of him yet. What's your situation? Wait, Shepard just arrived. Watch your head! How long can you hold out? I like your attitude. We get to that temple and the Reapers are history. Grab the with their and let's do some damage. Nice job. Apparently, I hit something with that. Go into cover. Ah, oh, yes, the widow. Wow, it takes a while to get to it. Go, and again, you can probably just buy one in the... I mean, to be fair, you can get the, from the Spectre Terminal, you can get the Black Widow, Take which is the Widow, but with a bigger Take magazine. That. So, yes, you can just buy one. You hit one. Yes, thank you for noticing. Outpost Tychus isn't far from here. I can cover you. Go! 
Never gets old. Oh, you survived? Fuck you. Yeah. Way out of here. I have something It's like there's one you don't hear every day. Yeah. Like the Reaper's the only way out. That was going to kill it. Hopefully. This nightmare never ends. The hell it won't. We get to this artifact and we can all wake up. 50,000 years later. <laughs> Somebody's salty. Yeah. <laughs> this can't be the last. Watch it. We're trying to reach outpost Tychus. You're looking at it! What about the rest of your squad? They're all dead! We tried passing through to the scientists, but... I'm all that's left. What about reinforcements? We had gunships flying support, but things got too hot with that Reaper. They can't chance it. I know it's rough, but I don't see another way in without their help. Have I told you how much I hate this war? Talon Swarm, this is Outpost Tychus. Is there anybody left on this frequency? We are in need of immediate air support. Commander Shepard is here. Copy, this is Talon 1. I'm on the way. Talon 5 inbound. Ground targets confirmed. Weapons are hot. Light them up. What are y'all, out of missiles? See if it doesn't come to play. No. Not with, not with the barrier at least. <laughs> oh, it's getting... It's barrier is getting recovered by something. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> now you need the bloody missiles. No shit, no shit. I guess punches are just talking in here. Yeah, apparently. Oh, well, yeah, I guess it was actually the better action. Okay, could have gone better. that gunship off Move. Now's our chance. <clears throat> like I'm pretty sure we can handle it from here I'll take that more more tyrants should have done without seeing another one of those today yeah Surprisingly good design for uh, something modern. It and again, I wouldn't put it past them. It's entirely plausible that it's something Bioware cooked up and never properly implemented into the main game. Yeah. Well, at least I can stagger them with that. 
What fireball does do jack to him? Or don't face me. Well, at least I got to face it, face, face, face it back to them. Yeah. Whoa! That was the news. Good to know you're over there. Like, oh, hello, Ravager. Ravager, Harvester. Harvester, yeah. Right. Much more dangerous. That's what I meant. You lost them too much. Keep your head down and give them everything you've got. Yes, I said, I don't get the firepower to take this. To take this. Please shoot the shit out of the harvesters. It's like physically cannot poke my head out without getting blasted. Ow. Barrier engine. Mm -hmm. I'm in trouble. My shields just took damage. Talon five going down. Pain, talon five. Yeah, we get we get it, you're dead. Well at least one of them's fucking off. Yeah, it's something. Oh yeah, now you wanna fuck off. Of course. This is one of those things where if you are, are actually able to kill the harvesters, um, the pilot survives. Well, considering it was a third harvester that came in and took her down, I doubt it. Oh. Let me take a look. It's military grade encryption. Okay. I think I can override it. Do religion and military always mix, Omasari? No. This is unusual, especially since few still follow the Athame doctrine. There's suspicious ammunition re replenishment. It's almost like we're about to need it. Suspicious Medigel. Hello? Is anyone there? Something is wrong. Your scientist should be here. Take a look around. Maybe one of these artifacts is what we're looking for. <laughs> What's this? The goddess Athene's shield. Legends say she used it to protect Thessia when the heavens grew angry. Our ancestors were probably misinterpreting a meteor shower. It was an asteroid strike. We deflected it. You mean the Protheans? But that would imply a thing. Is not what you believe her to be. Just keep looking. Oh. <laughs> Welp. What should, what should be the statue itself? Like the one right at the center. That one? Yeah. Sword. Myths say she wielded it against the jealous gods who threatened our ancestors. They were a race called the Ouroboros. Thessia had vast resources. We protected you from them. Are you actually suggesting that the Protheans intervened uh, in our past? It's more than a suggestion. <laughs> I find it strange your scientists would abandon their own planet. They wouldn't. It's like, here, let me just break your entire mythos. <laughs> Doesn't look useful. That's Janiri, a Thames guide who brought enlightenment to Thessia long ago. And you don't see the resemblance? He was a servant of an imaginary goddess. He was Prothean. 
Yeah. What do you know about this? A page from one of our earliest religious texts, the Athame Codex. It's not what we need. It describes how Athame's guide, Janiri, gave my people seeds. He taught them the seasons so they could grow crops. We didn't want you to starve. For something as important as this artifact, there should have been fail-safes. <laughs> I love how absolutely savage he's being about this. Could this be the artifact? I don't think so. That's a sculpture of Lucin, one of the famed servants who walked among my ancestors, bestowing knowledge. He was no servant of an imaginary goddess. He was Prothean. Yes, yes, we we figured that's what you were gonna say. Yeah. Another page from the Codex. Not very useful. It talks about a Thames guy granting us the gift of biotics as a reward for worshipping her. That gift involved years of genetic research. I... Uh, this is almost too much to take. I'm sorry, Lieda. I'm not. What are we looking at here? A primitive rendition of the goddess of fame. She's speaking to her ancient Asari followers. I don't think this is the artifact. Another one of your myths that somehow looks Prothean. What you're implying? It's staggering. We were here in the beginning, watching you grow. A fame was us. I believe we are missing something. You mean besides the dead scientists? There's a reason you're going the long way down, huh? Of course! It's the goddess of fame again. You can still believe that, but it won't change the truth. I we mean, maybe a thing was her name? Was the... the... Uh, Protean's name? I'm guessing these are the scientists. So yeah! Wouldn't it be funny if it was the statue? Hmm. I mean, I have kind of already guessed. Their throats. What happened to them? They've been slit. The Reapers didn't do this. We're going to have to figure this out on our own. Who's that supposed to be? It's a Thame. Her image became more like ours over time. You mean your ancestors tried to hide the truth? I'm still not willing to believe any of that's real. Then why doesn't them speak Prothean? What do you mean? There is something here. I can sense it. In this temple? I admit it is strange this place has been so well preserved. Though a thing does have great historical significance, we once believed our gods were separate from the world, looking down on us. Prothean beacon here. What? You're sure? It's not something you forget. But why hide it? The answer is obvious. Power and influence. Your people are holding the knowledge of my race for their own gain. That can't be. I can't believe my people would keep this a secret. <laughs> a beacon like this could explain why Asari are so advanced. This temple is thousands of years old. Time enough to make serious progress. That doesn't make it true. You can't keep denying reality, Asari. Even a small amount of data would give your species an edge. Or are you insulted that your government didn't involve you? The Mars ruins are where humanity got Mass Effect technology. And we learned a bit from the ruins of the Inusanum, the race that came before us. It was our secret for centuries. Well, if it is true, the Asari should have shared this knowledge. We might not have been in this mess if they had. You don't know that, Shepard. We don't know what's going on here. I know we don't have much time to find out. The few records I can access talk about tapping into Prothean data streams, reconstructing matrices, none of which I see here. I do. <clears throat> the activation process has begun. By the goddess. Literally. Look around. <coughs> there must be more of these connections. <laughs> Incredible. The beacon seems to think you're Prothean, Shepard. 
It must be the cipher you got back on Pharos years ago. Or it could be the Prothean standing next to you. Nah. No connection here. At least that sort of explains what happens if, you know, you don't bring Javik here. Yeah. I'd say that one counts. That said, I'd be more concerned about whoever left the bodies here. Yeah, like... Someone got through the barrier, I killed the scientist, and front. possibly I left. They've been extracting data from it for centuries. I never knew. Let's hope it doesn't take Oh, we missed long. one. That's disappointing. That oh. isn't what we need. <laughs> doesn't look like a connection. And there's another one. Darn it. Wanted to hear more of Javik just r ripping into Liara over this. Yes, keep looking. So what do we have here? Probably indoctrinated agent? This confirms the Asari owe your superiority to my people. And you owe the Mass Effect relays to the Reapers. How did that turn out? So you do that. <laughs> good. <laughs> Javik's just... <coughs> good. You have teeth. This isn't a connection. <coughs> yes, look, fair, fair enough. Yeah? The activation is complete. That's a beacon. Access the beacon now. Yeah. Big one. We need to hurry. This place isn't going to Okay, it's a drone. Very long. Obtaining chronological marker. Hold. Time scale established. Close protein cycle confirmed. One of our computers. Reaper presence detected. This galactic cycle has already reached its extinction tennis. Systems shutting down. Hold on. We need answers. To what question? The catalyst. We need to know what it is to finish the crucible. A memory of one of my people. I am called Vendetta. An advanced virtual construct of Patrick Van, overseer of the project you refer to as Crucible. He died fighting the Reapers in the Battle of Tranvia 9. Your remaining time is also at an end. We're all Protheans, so grim. What happened to the Crucible in your time? Why didn't the Protheans deploy it? We were sabotaged from within. A splinter group argued we should dominate the Reapers rather than destroy them. It fractured our order of battle. Later we discovered the Separatists were indoctrinated. I always suspected as much. And now we're facing the same problem. Our studies of past ages led us to believe that time is cyclical. Many patterns repeat. Like the Reaper attacks. And beyond. The same peaks of evolution, the same valleys of dissolution. The same conflicts are expressed in every cycle, but in a different manner. The repetition is too prevalent to be merely chance. We assume the Reapers were responsible for the pattern. Perhaps. So I believe the Reapers are only servants of the pattern. They are not exhausted. So who is the master? Unknown. Its presence is inferred rather than observed. The only certainty is its intention. Galactic annihilation. You now stand at that precipice. Like, yeah, I'm not in the mood to play nice anymore. Hmm. It isn't over yet, is it? We haven't been annihilated yet. We're fighting the Reapers right now. As does every cycle, but resistance is not enough. Conventional means will not defeat the Reapers. No shit. We already know that. That's why we're building the Crucible. We found your plans. The Crucible is not a broken design. It is the work of countless galactic cycles stretching back millions of years. Each cycle adds to it. Each improves upon it. Thus far, none have successfully defeated the Reapers with it. <laughs> they weren't me. Listen to the human. He can be trusted. I detect you are one of us. You are Protean. The last. 
I am the final hope to avenge our people. Your mission was known to me. Do you believe this present cycle can deliver retribution? They have earned the right to try. Tell us what we need to know. Very well. If you have followed the plans for the Crucible, I will interface with your systems and assist with the Catalyst too. Indoctrinated presence detected. Activating security protocol. We have a guest. Yeah, I kind of figure. You killed the scientists. What do you want? Your attention. Someone would like to talk with you. Shepard. How did you find this place? The archives. Or did your shadow broker miss that one? Show yourself. I promise I won't miss. Stick to your talents, Dr. Desai. You've helped uncover the key to subjugating the Reapers. Or destroying them. Damn it, Shepard. Destroying the Reapers gains us nothing. How about peace? They're just trying to control us. Think about it. If they wanted all organic life destroyed, they could do it. There would be nothing left. What the hell are you talking about? I know them, Shepard. I know how they think. Really? I think you've gotten a little too close to the enemy. No. I'm saying they've got it right. Why kill when you can control? What do you think? Um... Fred. <laughs> the Reapers have it right? You're indoctrinated. You're doing just what they want. I could say the same of you. Wasting time on a war that can't be won. At least I'm fighting. Never question my ability to fight. I've been fighting them longer than you can imagine. And don't assume you know me. My methods for dealing with the Reapers are simply more refined than yours. You've forgotten everything you stood for. Cerberus was supposed to be humanity's sword, not a dagger in our back. Poetic, but as usual, you miss the point. The world is more gray than you care to admit. With the Prothean data in this beacon, I can end this conflict, once and for all. You're either with me or against me. There's nothing gray about that. No, I suppose there isn't. Leng, the commander has something I need. Please relieve him of it. And then bring me the data. Understood. Yeah, hey, we finally get to kill this asshole. You're slower than I imagined, Shepard. I don't need to be fast, I just need to kill you. Cover me while I recharge. Yes. Slow. I was being a bitch. Mm -hmm. I've got this. Worth it. Ooh, felt that. Your friend Zane died like a coward. Is that so? This is a coward than you. I need to recharge. Cover me. I love how we're just we just kind of bumped into each other right there. Yeah, come on, you could have stabbed him. Or I would. Why did this one take me? Shepard is fine. Is that so? Then come and get me. Not able to kill him yet. Target the
Cerberus thanks you for all your hard work. That's a big ass beacon. Mm -hmm. We're not down yet. Sure is a long way down though. Can you imagine trying to climb in armor that heavy? Yeah. Commander? Counselor. The mission. We've lost the contract. It's there. It's gone dark. How soon will the Crucible be ready to deploy? Counselor. I wish the news was better. We didn't get the information. What happened? Cerberus was there. We were... We were defeated. We don't know how to finish the Crucible. I... I don't know what to say. What was the situation on Thessia? Deteriorating fast. The Reapers are there in strength. Then you'll excuse me. There are... Preparations to make continuity of civilization to consider. I never thought this day would come. None of us did. I'm sorry. Yeah. Asari forces are in full retreat. It is no longer safe for us to remain in this system. Get us out of here. Shepard. Nobody could have predicted Cerberus would reach Thessia before us. It's my job to be prepared, no matter what. And now Thessia's lost, as is the data on the catalyst. I'm sick of Cerberus beating us to the punch. Let's kick them in the balls first for a change. I'm with James. Anyone know where they're hiding? Anyone? Didn't um, think so. Well, there is something. Let's hear it, traitor. I was able to track Kai Leng's shuttle through the relay and extrapolate his destination. But the signal disappeared in the Yera system. 
Naturally. It's not just gone, though. The signal is being actively blocked. How? I'm not sure, but something is interfering with all signal activity in that region of space. Well, that's not suspicious, that's all. Sanctuary and little else. Sanctuary is a supposed safe haven for war refugees. You think it's worth checking out, trainer? Yes, sir. I do. If Specialist Trainer hadn't examined the data so astutely, the interference would have been undetectable. Nice work, Trainer. You've given us a shot. Now let's make sure we don't waste it. I was stationed on Horizon in the Yura system. You were the only Cerberus presence while I was there. It's a slim lead. Let's hope it's the right one. I don't care how slim the leads are at this point. We've come too far to let Cerberus stop us. I want that Prothean data. I want the catalyst. No excuses. Dismissed. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on VidCom. Major defeat. Fall of Thessia. Yeah, just no rub it. Rub salt in the wound, why don't ya? Uh, yeah, that's uh painful. Pain, pickle. Probably a good time to call it too. Yeah, I'm just gonna let all the updates saying, hey, we've lost like, you know, a ton of assets run through. Yeah. Our preparation's probably gone down. Just a bit. So next time we can have a chat with Anderson and then. Probably. Explain how things went to shit. Pretty much, yeah. Yay! Anyway, have you had fun? Goodbye! Laters!